In the last episode, we um, talked about how to place bricks and yeah, imagine the following situation. You complete your work and then you got one tiny little mistake and yeah, you so, and that's the reason why we introduced today the delete function. So that we can replace a brick and everything is fine and we can build our Lego world. So, let's go. Okay, one thing you might notice is that I uh, created this terrain and set it as a Lego layer. And now it looks better, so the complete game is prettier. So, uh, and yeah, how to delete a block. Uh, basically, uh, this is a situation that we do not want and we want to delete the block and obviously uh, I would like to delete everything on the right click. Now the right click does nothing. And so this is uh, a free slot for our input. Let's use this. Okay, just a short reminder. Um, on our character we have three custom scripts. The first one is a player. It's just uh, responsible for everything that has to do with the character controller, for example, running, jumping, walking around. Um, and the controller itself just handles our input and where the camera is and um, yeah, just gives these commands to the player and the player will execute it. And then we have this uh, place brick script, which is relevant for the mode placing bricks. And the controller handles the mode and if we are in placing brick mode, uh, we can use these two bricks and these colors to place bricks. So this is a place brick script. If you forgot it, uh, we have uh, a wake where we get our controller, a start script where we just set some default things and an update. And so if we are in build, uh, if we are not in build, uh, we destroy the current brick. Otherwise we leave it like that. And if we have a current brick, we do a wake cast and see if we can place a brick. And here, if we uh, have pushed our mouse button and we can place a brick, the brick is set and the next brick is instantiated. Um, yeah, and with a, a key E, we can rotate the brick around 90 degrees. So uh, let's add a few comments. For example, here is uh, place the brick and here is the rotate brick script and let's do some delete brick delete brick script and we say if mouse button down one is pressed then we should try to delete the block um yeah we will basically use this way cast okay Let's have a look. Just uh, always reuse your code. Um, I do not know if this is good, but let's try. Okay, we go to um, camera transform position, uh, a little bit uh, up times the camera distance. Okay, and then we go forward and then we check if we hit something uh, in the layer mask Lego. Hmm, let's have a look at our bricks. These are the prefabs and the prefabs are on the layer Lego. So uh, this is fine so far. <clears throat> okay, um, before we want to delete the brick or in this situation, we want to find a position to place our brick onto maybe another brick. And here we have, um, yeah just a place for deleting a brick. Now the first thing we should do is um, get the brick. So we say hit info dot other or collider, is it collider? Yes, it's collider. And then we can uh, do get component uh, brick. So and if brick equals null, we won't do anything, but if it's not equal null, uh, then we really want to destroy the brick. Brick, game object, destroy. Um, boy, no, it's the other way around. It's game object, destroy. And then we path in the brick game object. And then it's destroyed. Okay, let's try it out. You uh, see the red dot here. The red dot uh, was introduced by us just to always see uh, where we will place the brick or where our raycast 
is uh, going and so we can also use this to determine which brick we will replace and for example this brick or this brick or this brick or this one. Oh yeah perfect so now we can uh, place a lot of bricks no matter what and we can uh, delete them all perfect that's it uh, that was really necessary um, yeah see you next time subscribe to my channel to get more straight to the point tutorials